Hello everybody, it's me again, Amos Kung Fao, back with another Norse Life Hall episode of video. In this video, I'll be featuring the Rampage Swap to Porsche Cayman GT4. It's truly a beast of a car, and that is without a doubt the fastest rural drive street car in Gran Turismo 7, excluding the Valkyrie of course. When I first applied a base tune to this car to start off my tuning process and looked at the car specs, I immediately thought that this car is going to be near impossible to drive with the 1400 horsepower max output it has. But somewhat surprisingly when I drove it, I came to find out that this car actually has very good traction. Granted, you still need to be pretty careful on the throttle, which means you can't just full throttle out of hairpins. But for 1400 horsepower, it has a ton of rear grip. This, coupled with the car being very lightweight and having quite a bit of downforce for it being a street car, I knew that this car is going to set a fast timer on Norchlight. So when I set a 540, I wasn't at all surprised and was actually kind of disappointed I didn't get below the 540 mark. But since I did think it was a decent enough lap for YouTube, I didn't feel the need to get under a 540. Since I was wondering if anybody had set a sub 540, I looked into shared replays of time trial laps done with the caveman at Norse Life, and I found that someone had already gotten below a 540 time. I wasn't very surprised someone had already set a sub 540, because I do remember this guy setting a very fast time in the caveman, but I forgot what time he had set. While this may be an insane time, the way he got it wasn't very satisfying. And I say this because when you actually watch the replay, you can see he is using an e-brake exploit to make the car turn quicker, shaving off about 3 seconds per lap depending on the car. Although this is an exploited time, this is still a very respectable one, and it was one hell of a lap. But excluding exploited times, a lap is still the fastest swapped game in time, but as I said, I could get a better time if I wanted even into the 39s. But how does the swap game in compare against the other street cars? I can say that there are only a very few, technically a couple, legit street cars that outperform the swap game in at Nordschleife. Those street cars are the swapped and unswapped R35 Nismo and the Aventador SV, which are both a wheel drive. Even with how fast the swap game in is, there are still a few rear wheel drive street cars that come close to the same pace as the game in, which I will make Nordschleife setup videos for soon. Anyways guys, that's all I really have to say in this segment of the video, and now let's take a look at the hot lap. I will showcase my setup on the other side.
So guys, what you're looking at now is my setup sheet, and all you need to do is copy what you see here. If you have any questions about my setup or anything regarding my build as a whole, then let me know in the comments. Now let's take a look at the transmission. The right way to apply these settings is to start applying them from the top and work your way down and all your numbers will match mine. Don't apply the individual gears from their top speed, but apply them from the value behind it. Now that the setup is out of the way, let's take a gander at the body modifications. Everything labeled in these two photos are parts that you'll need for the setup to work. The parts that can be applied that aren't labeled are all optional, and you can choose whether or not you want to apply them since they have extremely little to no effect on performance. If you want the style that I'm using in this video, from the GT7 world map, go to showcase, and in showcase click on content search. Use the filter settings to select the game of GT4, then in the cure box type VTuber, and under that, press content search to initiate the search. And from there, the featured livery for this video should be pretty easy to find. So that will be it for the video, but I will show a couple different replay perspectives of the lap done in the video. I'll show you my full replay with the outside painting shots first this time because I noticed more people watching it than what is now the second replay I'll show, which is an interior camera perspective replay to in the video. So with everything said out of the way, hope you enjoy the setup and the video. Later guys.